All right, everybody. I'm Radio Joe. I'm with the uh, Beasley Media Group. Uh, we have six radio stations here in eastern North Carolina. Um, and what we do at Beasley is try to integrate our local radio stations directly to the, uh, to the public. Uh, and, and what we've been going through right now uh, with the Hurricane Matthew, I know it affects, uh, it's, a, it's affected us here in New Bern, but it's really affecting us right now in Goldsboro and Kinston. Um, just left the radio station a minute ago and we talked about, talked about this particular forum and about how social, social media has affected radio. And yeah, I can't tell you the, the uh, amount of phone calls that we've had where people are, are weeping on the phone. The connection that people have. They, there are people that are alone out there uh, right now that um, they're losing everything. Um, and to be able to pick up the phone and call somebody that you feel like you know, you know, with the radio station you could do that. You've got people that are on the air they're on the air all day, every day. You develop an intimate relationship with these people. And what happens is, is somebody's at, at home, they're, they're going through something, or somebody's concerned, and they're able to communicate directly to a personality, somebody they feel like they know. Um, and then what we're able to do with social media is we're able to post pictures. They're able to post pictures from their backyard, post pictures from uh, their neighbors, um, and so, you know, it integrates a lot with the radio station in ways that people don't always think about. Um, Beasley's been around since 1961. We have radio stations all over the country, from Vegas to Philly to Florida. Um, but we started right here in, New in, uh, in North Carolina, East North Carolina. Um, another thing that's changed in our business is how we, how we use the radio stations to uh, create events um, from things like the United Way to uh, something we just got through doing here in downtown. We just got through doing something called Pets in the Park, where we work with the Colonial Capital Humane Society, which was was struggling right now. Um, and so we did a pet event there. Uh, we used this event. Uh, we we put it all out in social media. We created an events page. Uh, we we created a page in itself. Um, and we directed people to that, and we do that a lot. We create a lot of our own events, and we execute those events not only on the radio, but also socially. So the two integrate a, a lot together, and we've noticed that a lot over the years. Um, as far as radio is concerned, people ask us all the time, you know, what, what's going on in the radio business? Hey, Joe, what, what's going on? You know, it's interesting. People now listen to the radio uh, online. Uh, they stream us online. Every radio station we have has an app that you can listen to online. Um, you can listen to the radio on a, your computer, and you can listen to the radio, obviously, over the radio. Um, the biggest change that we've seen, honestly, I just pulled this up today. Um, January through June of 2012, 61% of people listen to radio over the air. Today, it's 63%. But the biggest difference is, you know, satellite radio in 2012 was 9, was 10%, now it's 9%. Streaming radio was 7%, now it's 17%. But the biggest change is iPods and downloaded music and CDs. When's the last time you bought a CD? Remember those cassettes? You listen to it like that now? No, we're listening to it online. And we're streaming it, and social media is an intimate part of that, and that's why we're here. I hope that's enough.